Have you guys ever played the game Civilization V? Like that style of game? Well, I've got a game that is made by the creator of Civilization V, coming up next on Mumbles. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mumble! I'm not going to do that the whole time, guys, I promise. Today, I'm bringing you guys a game review. And today's game review is made by the creator of Civilization V. He has branched out and created his own game company. Today's game review is on a game called John Chaffetz at the Gates. John Chaffetz at the Gates can be picked up for a mere price of $29.99 and is available on PC, Mac, and Linux system. Now this game is created by Conifer Games. Conifer Games has not made any other games to this point, but the creator of Conifer Games is John Chaffetz. For those of you that don't know who that is, this is the creator of Civilization V, for those of you that have played that game. So he does know what he's doing, and you can rest assured that the game was created with a lot of love and care. So what is At The Gates about? I'm gonna just read you guys the description because it fills out everything that you need to know. At The Gates is an indie strategy game from John Schaefer, designer of Civilization V. You are a dark lord building a kingdom to replace the crumbling Roman Empire. Manage your clans, explore the landscape around you, harvest its resources and build a mighty economic and military machine. I don't need to add anything more to that. It explains itself. Now let's talk about the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game, I gotta be honest with you guys, this is not my pick of graphics. I, I just, it's not my favorite graphical game. There's nothing wrong with the graphics. I'm just not a big fan of how they look. They are kind of almost art type graphics, and I don't really like them for this kind of game. I like more sharp, crisp, clean graphics. That's just me, not taking off any points, but I gotta be honest about the graphics. Soundtrack wise in this game, this game actually ties into the music rather well. So you will not be say, you will not hear me say gaming elevator music. Instead, this game does tie into certain points of the game. So for example, when something good happens, you'll hear a noise. When something bad happens, you'll hear a noise. When things happen, you hear different noises. I always am a fan of when a company can make a game tie into the music. And that's what At The Gates has done. Now control wise, I gotta admit, the controls are a little wonky in this game. Now you can use keyboard shortcuts. However, Mumbles was a little crazy and could not really get a hold of the keyboard shortcuts. So I ended up using the mouse for pretty much all of my gameplay. So with that in mind, controls do work great and the mouse works great as any mouse should. Now let's talk about the gameplay. I'm not here to give you guys a blow by blow description of how each gameplay mechanic works in this game. I'm just here to give you a brief overview of the main points of the gameplay in this game. So let's get to it. This game is all about empire buddy. To do this, you start with three clans and base things around what they can do. This can be something as simple as agriculture, wood collection, stone collection, army building, or exploring. Now, from that point, you can learn even more skills. So for example, you start with a hunter. That hunter can be upgraded into an archer to defend your homeland. That archer can be upgraded into a spearman to defend your homeland. So as you can see, there's a learning experience in this game. As you go along, you will have to use your points wisely and your turns wisely in order to actually build a better empire and a more successful empire. All in all, how you play this game is entirely up to you and no two gameplays will be the same. For example, one gameplay you might decide that you wanna be just a person who focuses to start with on building agriculture, building food, getting food. So you just focus on food, 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 food. You're getting farms, you're getting plantations, you're doing all different sorts of things. And in another gameplay, you might decide, I'm going to be a military force. I'm going to steal my food from other places. And that's how we're going to do things. You can play this game any way you want. So like I said, I haven't gone through each and every little aspect of this game because we'd be here all day. But now I do want to talk about the cons of this game. The first con in this game is that this game has a high, high, high learning curve. This game could really use a good tutorial in it. Most of the stuff that the game gives you tutorial wise is all reading. And we know how most people are, in Mumbles included, Mumbles included. When I get into a game, the first thing I don't want to do is start reading about the game. I want a brief tutorial of how basic things go. Maybe walk me through one gameplay and then turn me loose on how to go. I don't need five or six or seven pages on what the best strategy is to use. Maybe once I get into the game, yeah, that'd be a nice aspect to have. But to start the game, I just want to play. 
The second con to this game is that this game does have a sluggish loading time slash system in it. And I'm sure this is something that will be worked on as the game is now available. But to start with, this game does have that problem. Things are kind of laggy a little bit at times. So now all that's really left to talk about is what is this game going to get on our Mumbles review? Jason Shapitz at the gates. This game really took me by surprise. I knew it was going to be good because I knew the producer of the game was good. But I didn't realize the time and detail he was going to put into this game. And he did a fantastic job on it. For a one-man studio, just having help from friends, he has nothing to be ashamed of. He did a great job. And it is for that reason, I'm going to give Jason Chaffetz at the gates a 7 out of 10. I'm not giving it an 8 or a 9 because I do feel like it needs a tutorial. It takes, it's got a high learning curve. It takes a long time to get into a game and it has some issues to start with, like the loading times. So those are the only reasons I'm giving this a seven out of 10, still a respectable st a score. This game will give you hours and 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 then even more hours of enjoyment as you play through it. So I definitely recommend that you check it out if you like the civilization type games. Anyways, guys, this has been my review of Jason's Chapitz at the Gates. I hope you guys all enjoyed this review. Please smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and smack all those buttons. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone. Take care.